I'm starting by putting a little bit of white generally on the stonework. We'll start with these stones on this side. Then I'm going to put a little ivory. The idea is to create texture and it's very quick actually in producing the texture as you will see. And what we're doing now is obviously all the stones are individual and we want to make them look like that so although uh, I'm going as a generally over the whole thing I will soon start picking them out like that okay now we're in a little bit of a little bit of weight going in here and there again picking them out like here and there like that that's great now there's also quite a lot of white mortar in between them so I'm just going to put a little emphasis of white again here and there where the white mortar's standing through coming through like that also just a little more white here and there to put some highlights on the stone we can darken them okay now what I'm going to do now is to put a little crumbly look just twiggle the pencil around making that, that little area there a little crumbly. Now we've got to make it more interesting so as you can see I've got a selection of colours here I'm going to use and I'm going to first of all add a little ochre like that and then I want to pick out a few of these stones sort of individually so what we'll do here is we'll make this one sort of a, like a reddish brownish colour and same over on this one here. A little more here. So I'm just what I'm doing now is just flicking about. There you go. Now we'll just move on to a, a really nice colour. This one is like a greyish mauveish colour. It's quite strong, so we have to be just a little careful. Uh, what I'm doing is using the paper here very successfully in taking the pastel off the pencil so you're creating a textured look. I'm still not worried too much about um, detail that will all come later but you can see it's beginning to work there and a little bit of a little bit of green I think would be nice just to put a bit of algae on there uh, here and there like that like that now it's time now to start picking up on some detail. So what I'm going to do is just use my very dark brown pencil and just put a few. Now can you see that already? Can you see that just that one stone has started to look? Now you don't really want much more than that. And there's another one there. The thing is I'm not drawing a line. I'm just allowing the pencil just to flick around like that. Now just put a little bit of a hard line across there and then coming down on that like that. See? You're kind of making it up as you're going along. That's what I tend to do here. Right, a bit of dark there. And now this, this stone is a little proud of that one. So that one can come down there. And again, because I've got that white mortar there, I'm just going to outline it a little bit. You see what a difference it makes like that? Coming down there like that. Now this bit that I was uh, looking at earlier, looked sort of crumbling away, I'm just using my pencil just to indicate a few little broken stones and then here and there just like there just put a little bit of extra weight in. Can you see that? It's absolutely amazing isn't it? Now you can see why this is a demonstration piece and, and not a pack because although uh, you can actually get this in a super workshop pack it's uh, not one that I would uh, recommend unless you had a little bit of experience. Now I'm just putting a little more, more highlights on. Now see how little we're actually doing. Now I think I really want those white bits there to be a little stronger. You see? See that? Not all over again, just in places. Well now look, I don't think we want to do too much more to be absolutely honest. I'm just going to put a little bit of little greenery coming up here. And I think we can leave it at that. The less you do, the better it'll be.